Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Chris Bundy with a unboxing video for you of the HTC Titan for the AT&T network. Now before I tell you about the phone, let's go ahead and go around the outside of the box and see what all it is because after all, this is an unboxing. It's all about the box. Here on the front side, we have a 4G logo here. Now, key in on that, that is not a 4G LTE logo, just 4G. So that means uh, your regular 3G with um, a little bit of a speed boost, really. Um, Smart Meets Life logo there, um, camera and touchscreen, and the AT&T logo, uh, HTNC sign, and then serial information. Here on the uh, left-hand side of the box, you have the um, basically just something telling you about uh, monthly access and usage charges, and then in this corner we have. Um, the logos uh, for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Windows Phone. You know, regular badging stuff. At the top of the box, it tells you about the 4G speeds and how they are actually delivered by HOSPA Plus, HSPA Plus, um, and that's with enhanced backhaul. Um, I'll have a video later explaining the differences between true 4G LTE and the 4G that AT&T currently is supporting. And then here on the other side is really just information from the manufacturer, UPCs, SKU numbers, things of that nature. And on the on the back, here we have um, another 4G logo here, and then a 4.7 inch display logo, Windows Phone logo, a dis dual cameras logo, and then Wi-Fi. And then let's go ahead and open it up. This is the point we all have sort of been sitting here waiting for. So at the top of the box it just says thank you for purchasing uh, HTC Titan and tells you about the tutorials up there at the top. Here is a uh, SIM card. Now I bought mine through Best Buy so the SIM card was already included inside the box. Actually got it through a great deal Cyber Monday and I got it for free. Now this is the, the quick start guide. I'm going to set the regular rest of the boxes aside. In the quick start guide, it really just is supposed to help you get started quickly. It also gives you information here as to where to find accessories, service numbers, and uh, uh, a website to really give you your tutorials. And then it also has in this little pamphlet different things about how to set up your phone and how to use it. Uh, it's really not that important. And here is the Titan, but once again, we're going to set that to the side. If we just pull this out here, we uncover our battery. And with this battery, this is a 1650 milliamp hour battery. Uh, that's it's around average, um, but inside Windows phones, they actually are, uh, they get a good bit more mileage than their Android brethren. So, this is a good, good one. It's got a HTC logo on it. And then we've got uh, regulation, safety and regu regulatory uh, info. It tells you basically how to handle this phone without hurting yourself, which most people don't need to worry about that. Um, just another piece of paper about Windows 7 software terms and then here is a entire packet about Windows Phone 7 licensing so uh, good old Microsoft has left us with a couple pages to read over about what you're legally liable for and then looks like we have the charging brick here Yep. So it's got a USB on one end, then a bunch of logos on the back. And also inside the box, we find the rest of the USB charger. Also is your sync cable when you want to plug it into your PC and transfer data. So if we pull all that off here, it's also bundled by a little rubber band. So that's nice. Oops. So, we've got your regular full-size USB there, and then your 
micro USB right there. Then here we have a limited warranty uh, information from the manufacturer. And as you can see, the box is empty. So we can actually move on to just the phone. Look at this phone. It is huge. Now here on the front is part of the uh, texting and driving it can wait campaign. Um, most AT&T phones come with this little sticker slapped on the front of it. Um, it's really a great campaign. You really shouldn't be texting and driving. So here we go. We actually have the phone out and it's got a huge screen. The phone actually measures 131.5 millimeters tall and then 70 millimeters wide and it is 9.9 .9 millimeters thick. Now just to give you a bit of an idea here here is a iPhone 4 up next to it so just by screen angles there you can see that it's it's a good bit bigger phone for an iPhone and then here I have a Samsung Focus that I've been using and it is uh, last year's flagship for the Windows phones and you can see there's a lot of difference there um, with the iPhone 4 you were looking at a three and a half inch display and with the Focus you're looking at a four inch display but still you're you're looking at quite a big phone here. Now if we go around the outside of this device, here on the top we have your power lock button, we have your microphone input there, and we also have a, a standard three and a half millimeter jack there. And then we also have two more microphone pickups. Whoops, two more microphone pickups. And here along the left hand side of the phone we have the charging port. And that's really it for that side. And then here on the bottom we have the release for the back plate. And then another microphone pickup on the bottom. Here on the right hand side we have your camera button, your two stage camera button. And then a volume rocker here on the right hand side. On the back of the device we have the dual LED flash. We also have a 8 megapixel shooter with a f-stop 2.2 lens. And it also has what, it, what they are calling a BSI sensor, um, which allows for better low light capture. We will be testing that in a later review to see if um, that stands up, if that really improves anything. And we also have a, another microphone grill here for when you are recording subjects in front of the camera. And down here, once again, we have two more microphone pickups. So this phone is covered in microphone pickups, which will help you if you really want to use this phone for video recording. Oh, and then another two down here in the bottom right-hand corner. On the front of the device, we have the standard AT&T logo. We have a speaker grill gracing the top of the device. And we also have a 1.3 megapixel shooter on the front, or camera. And then three capacitive buttons. And since this is a Windows Phone 7.5 device, they all are required to have these same three buttons. You have your back button, your start menu button, and your search button. And that is it for this unboxing. If you enjoyed the video, please follow me on YouTube. And I thank you and have a great day.